Hey, good morning out there, everybody. Bo here with another Coach's Corner. Hope everybody is doing great. I uh, want to talk with you about something that may not be a super popular opinion, especially among uh, my my brethren and sisters of uh, Lean Six Sigma, but um, I've been working with a lot of clients lately, and they are bringing me in to help them with their processes. So process improvement, which is certainly, you know, one of our, our sweet spots and one of my passions. However, what I keep running into time and time again is while the processes need improving, improving what's more important and what's missing more is good leadership. And this shows up in a lot of ways, which is usually uh, things aren't getting completed on time. Things aren't getting completed at all. Uh, things aren't being followed through on, things aren't being communicated effectively, things aren't being uh, worked on with, with discipline and diligence. And so while it's important that you make the processes better, and, and doing so will certainly help the organization run better, if you're having leadership gaps and you're having um, just good old-fashioned blocking and tackling, if you will, about your processes, it doesn't matter how good the process is. If people aren't going to execute a good process, they're not going to execute a, you know, they're not executing a bad process. Why would they start executing a good process? So as you're evaluating what's going on and you're looking for your improvement methodology, please don't overlook the fact that sometimes the gap is actually in people and leadership and teamwork and communication and, and all of those kind of core competencies of leadership. It's not always just a bad process. In fact, usually the bad process is exacerbated greatly by a lack of good, directed, determined uh, leaders that are pushing the process forward. So hope it helps. See you soon.